Hey guys, hey guys, how's it going? Uh, we're out here in my garage right now, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys this project that I got going on. So, I got down here a 19 foot bass cat that I've had for about a year. Um, just haven't really done much to revamp it, you know what I'm saying? And uh, so, I'm gonna tell you guys some of the different stuff I'm gonna be doing to this boat. Um, so far, the boat's been a pretty good boat to me. Uh, I actually won a couple tournaments last year out of this boat. Made a couple thousand dollars fishing out of this thing. And uh, like you say, it's it's nothing new, but the uh, the boat really doesn't help you catch the fish as much as you would think. And uh, believe me, I know that because, uh, you know, when I fish these BFLs, um, you know, a lot of these guys got some really nice boats, even though they don't really know how to catch a whole lot of fish. So I'm telling you right now, um, you know, in order to get started fishing, this is about all you need. And so we're going to walk through this boat, and I'm going to tell you some of the different things I'm going to be updating and upgrading on this boat. So for starters, uh, one of the things that's a pain in the ass right now is this little, uh, this winch down here. This thing's got to go. This thing's rusted up. <clears throat> a piece of junk, probably about 20 years old or so. And uh, I need to put a new wheel on here because uh, it's damn near impossible to get the boat on the trailer. And uh, the other thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be extending the deck. And so you got a little short deck up there, and that's, that's just too small for a big guy like me. So what I'm going to be doing is we're going to be taking out these cushions, and uh, we're going to extend the deck all the way back to the console there. And uh, going to be tearing out all the carpet up here, going to redo all the carpeting, make some, uh, some storage there in the center, probably do something with, uh, with some slide-in trays or something like that, make it pretty nice. Uh, these windshields, they got to go. Uh, these things look too freaking old. It was kind of funny at first because, you know, it was kind of a joke because, uh, you know, I wanted to win a tournament out of the oldest looking boat out there. But uh, I think we're going to have to take those off because they, they just kind of get in the way, you know, of fishing anyway. So those are coming off. Uh, these seats, going to get rid of these seats. I got a couple seats that I might put in or, you know, I might get these redone. I don't know. But we're going to be stripping out all the carpet on here. Um, live wells. I've got a couple uh, circulating pumps in there right now. Those are going to probably come out. We're going to actually put some, some livels in there that will feed in from the lake. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to redo all the carpeting here. And then, uh, obviously, you know, maybe put a little shine on this boat, make it look pretty good. But, uh, you know, that's just some of the different things. i got some rewiring to do to this boat. And, I don't know, I'm thinking for, you know, probably about five, 600 bucks. going to have this thing looking pretty good and, tell you one of the things i want to do is i want to uh recess this trolling motor because um actually last year i was fishing the big bass bash um out of this boat and ended up slipping off the trolling motor here and uh hurt my leg so that's something i got to do just for just for safety because it's too high up really to be standing on that thing all day but um yeah so so this is going to be a project of mine uh coming up going to try to chip away at this and and get this thing done it's been pretty cold here in St. Louis anyway, so I haven't had really a whole lot of time to take this thing out around here, um, you know, and, and do much on it. So look forward to uh, showing you guys what this boat looks like, you know, after I uh, put some work into it. Catch you guys later.